Let's shift gears. We welcome in Ariana Moyer. She's keeping an eye on, of all things, litigation, legislation. This yes. is something we talk about a lot when it comes to digital media. Yes, so the future of TikTok is essentially hanging by a thread at this point after uh, a bill, the Protecting Americans from Foreign Adversary Controlled Applications Act, unanimously passed through the House Energy and Commerce Committee earlier today. So this gives the TikTok's owners, ByteDance, essentially 165 days, about five months to sell the company to someone who is not essentially Chinese owned um, or the app will be banned in the United States. So this is a big deal for lots of different reasons. TikTok says that constitutionally you are taking away the First Amendment right of about 170 million Americans who are on the app there. Then it's an election year and younger voters might not take kindly to a beloved app being banned in the US. Then there's the fact that Joe Biden and his uh, re-election campaign recently joined the platform. So people are kind of confused as to why he was uh, supporting this and wanting to push it through when he just joined to kind of appeal to younger voters there. And this has been a big thing for a while now because uh, in 2022, obviously TikTok was banned from government phones right. and then Donald Trump back in 2020 also tried to ban the app and that didn't work out well. So this getting passed today is kind of a big deal because this has been right. an ongoing issue. And not just the fact that it got out of committee, but the fact that it unanimously yes. got out of yes. committee is telling. Yes. And so what the big issue is, is they're worried about that information. They're saying that the information on TikTok is being sold to these people in China and the Communist Party and they want to protect it. TikTok is saying that there is a firewall that protects users' data. So it's all about finding out, you know, what is the truth here? Is it protected? But now at this point, since it unanimously went through, TikTok and ByteDance do have that five-month window to sell well, it. Or it it still would have to clear the House, clear yes, the Senate. Yes. But it appears if it's unanimous right. out of committee, you've that got it, bipartisan well, yes, support. Yes. It likely would pass the House, probably yes, exactly. would pass the Senate and get to the President's desk. But yes. we'll wait and see. But ByteDance doesn't think that the sale will be approved by officials in Beijing. So it is, it's a big thing. So it is looking like it is going towards being banned. So we'll see how p users react because right. a lot of people use it for income or just to learn things like that. So we'll see how it goes. We have our, our intern who has been using it since seventh grade and she, she makes income off of it. A lot of influencers do. That's a big platform for them. So we'll see Things how it goes. Things may be changing. You may see Facebook and uh, YouTube, Google yes. try to jump into that space yep. with those short little videos. All right, more on that on our website, hearingnewsnow.com. Now